So I read an entire chapter yesterday. So this morning I read chapter 2, verses 1 through 5, just five verses. Um, it all takes place at a place called um, Bochum. Bochum. In Hebrew, Bochum means weepers, people who cry, weepers. So the angel of the Lord sternly rebukes Israel for making treaties with the people living in Cana, the promised land, and for failing to drive them out. So it's all about faithfulness and faithlessness um, and faithfulness to his covenant. God gave Israel the land, but would not drive out their enemies because Israel had not obeyed him. So God was being faithful and the Israelites were being faithless. And so when I read these uh, five verses, this first paragraph, in light of 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, um, what it teaches me is that God is faithful and we are not. Um, we are not faithful because complete obedience is really hard for us. It, complete obedience is so hard for us and faithfulness is so difficult for us that we don't really have a good human example of faithfulness. We would hope that faithfulness would be expressed uh, in its purest form between husband and wife, that parent, uh, couples and parents, spouses would be faithful to one another. And yet, constant, complete faithfulness and obedience are incredibly hard for people. And here the Israelites let God down. We are called to a life of faithfulness, and Jesus is our example of faithfulness. So hopefully, from a New Testament perspective, having received divine forgiveness, divine acceptance and love, our sins are forgiven and the Holy Spirit dwells with us, within us. And because of the Holy Spirit, we can be faithful. Faithful to each other and faithful to God. We can be faithful like he is faithful. He's such an example to us.